Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne. And today I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot and how to print on the Moto G 5G 2025. To take a screenshot, there are a few different ways to do this and I'll go over all three and then you can choose which one is the easiest for you. The first one is, so pick what you wanna take a screenshot of. Let's say we go into Google Play and we wanna take a screenshot of this page. If we tap on the recent apps button in the bottom right corner, there is a screenshot button right here. You can tap, that will snap a picture of your screen. You can tap on the little picture that shows up and then you can then make edits to that afterward by, by uh, cropping or writing on the photo, adding filters. You have all these options you can scroll through here to adjust the picture before saving it. One cool option is tap on this little uh, icon here to install more editing tools. So definitely encourage you to do that. Now, if you don't make any changes, if you just hit cancel, it's gonna automatically save that screenshot to your gallery. And I'll show you how to get to that in a minute. Okay, the next way to take a screenshot is taking three fingers and tapping the screen for one second, just like that. Now, this is not my favorite and I don't really use this method uh, too often, but I did wanna show you just so you can decide if you like that option best. The third way, which is my favorite, is simply holding down on the power and volume down button for one second like this. One, two, three, hold together and let it go. Quick snap, screenshot, and you're done, okay? So how do we find that screenshot after we've taken it? We're gonna go to our Google Photos app and you wanna go to the collections tab right here and then go to uh, on this device. And then you'll have a folder that says screenshots. And here you'll see all the screenshots that we just took. Now let's say I wanna print this screenshot right here. I'm gonna go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots. And I'm going to just slide over until I see the print button. Tap on print. Now next, you'll need to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, so swipe down. I am on Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi is on, and it shows the name of the network. So that's perfect, that's the first thing. The next thing, you need to make sure you turn on your wireless printer and make sure they're on the same network. And next, tap on that button that says select a printer. There's a little drop down to the right. And I'm gonna tap on my Epson XP4200. And now, I can tap on this green button to send this to the printer for it to print. Now. If I tap on this little arrow right here, I can access more print options. For example, I can make more copies, change it from a color copy to black and white. I can change the paper size. Also, if you're printing more than one page, you can select you know, what page you want to print, whether it's the first, third, or all, and then you'll tap on that button to send to the printer. So that is how you print a screenshot or any picture that's on your phone. Now let's go to the home button. Next, I wanna show you how to print an email. We're gonna to go to the Gmail app and let's find an email to print. Let's print this email from Google Pixel about the Google Pixel Buds. We're gonna to go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots. Come down to print and you'll see the same menu. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you're printing multiple pages, it will take a minute for the preview of all the pages to show. So you can either wait until they show up or you can tap select a printer and go down to save as PDF. And for some reason, when you select that, the previews always show up faster. And here we have quite a few pages. This email was 11 pages total. You can always uncheck the bottom right corner of a page if you don't want that one to check. And you can manually go through and do this, or you can hit the drop down. And under page range, you can change this, and then you can select right here what pages you want to print. Could be one through three, one through five, one comma three, one comma five. It's up to you. And then you'll want to switch this back to the printer and hit the print button here. Now here I'll link to the printer I'm using. I love Epson printers. They work really great with Android phones. So I'll link to that one and I have a few other options linked as well. 
Okay, let's hit our home button. And lastly, let's go to Google Chrome and let's print something from this website. So we're on amazon.com and we wanna print something from Amazon. Let's say you wanna print out this controller. Let's select the controller. If we go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots, you'll notice you won't see a print button. Tap on share and then you'll see the print button right here. So it's just one extra step to get there. And same thing, it's trying to load the page, but there's a lot of pages, so it could take a minute. So tap on select a printer, go to save as a PDF, and you'll see the preview load much faster. Perfect. Then we can switch back to our Epson printer and tap on that button to send it to the printer. And that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Here I'm gonna to link to my playlist that has all my other videos on the Moto G 5G 2025. And here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.